place to go on that like, I didn't even want to eat. I just drunk. I just yeah. drunk most of the night. Yeah, it was that bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, but then they, even the ice. Know? The ice. You gotta worry yeah, about the ice. Yeah, I mean. Everybody want to do the damn ALS ice bucket check. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be one of mine. That's gonna be one yeah. of mine because okay, I'm gonna let you finish and I'm gonna go into mine. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just. That was. I, I actually had to just like just take a deep breath, and I, it just really pissed me off. Like. You know, what pissed me off more so was that he had a lady that lives right next door to the on the wall. Everybody just parks in front of her house. <laughs> and she was trying to put cones out, and this dude came out. No, that ain't gonna This dude moved the cones, threw it on the grass. <gasps> and then she oh. came out She came out to curse the dude out. And I thought she was going to say something racial, which was getting ready. Oh. Which, would, which would have provoked me to say something. But she went back in her house when she saw who it was. She's like, damn. <laughs> She first, saw she saw the game. First, first she had another dude that was like, oh, like what the hell? But then when he saw this dude, he was like, you know, maybe he, you know, came from a halfway house. Something like that, you know? And it was just she just kind of Wow. Died. But that was my Sunday. But besides that, it was cool. Hmm. I worked my ass off, it was cool. I'll say that. I actually kinda saw the I'm um, a last weekend I didn't turn up. I didn't go party last weekend, yes. remember? First time so now seen. this weekend, I didn't really party party, but more like barbecues, oh, you know, okay. so it wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, you know, spent time with the family and everything. But I, I want to set it off right quick on one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody who's doing the ALS ice bucket challenge. Yeah. All right, if you're gonna do the challenge, and shout out to my people. I don't know if you're listening, but I it was a function. You okay? You're supposed to have actual ice. It's supposed to be ice water, not just regular, just just water. Not warm water. It's supposed to be ice. Ice is expensive. It's an ice bucket challenge, okay? So if you get the, you know, the bucket thrown over you mm. and there's no ice in it, to me it don't count. You got to do it over. No, no, no. All right, you got to do it over. And also, I mean, people are doing it kind of like just for fun, but... You are supposed to be donating money to an organization. It's not, you know, people are doing it just because they think it's cute and fun and everything. But, you know, yeah, I, this I, is, this I, is, I, um. I ain't doing it. It brings you back to a place I don't want to go back to. Man being held down, tied up, water being thrown over their head. <laughs> just sounds like a lot of stuff that I don't want to pick harder. But I will send my money, I'll send my money. You know, but the donation is supposed to be to, you know, do research for the cure of um, the Wait, disease. What is uh, Lou, 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 um, for fighting Lou Gehrig's disease. Basically, it's like a nerve thing. Oh, okay. and, and for those of you who don't know, because I know, I, I mean, I heard about it and I mm -hmm. kind of looked it up a little bit. So basically, the purpose with, for the ice is because people with that disease, they have nerve issues. So with the ice, it's like it kind of shocks your system. So that is kind of the same way that people with that disease feel it like, um, you know, it's a shock to your system with, with your nerves and everything. So that's why they do the ice bucket thing. So you can get a little bit of a taste of how they feel, the people with, you know, that disease. So, you know, it's all ha ha ee ee. You know, everyone, you know, everybody. You know, millions of people didn't know what the ice meant. And you just Not, well, I mean, I just, know okay. Well, you know, you know, I just brought it to everybody's attention. So, I mean, people are doing it because oh, it's cute. And, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, um, there's a purpose <laughs> behind it. So, if you're gonna do it, even if you're gonna do it for fun, make sure that there's ice in the damn bucket. Don't just be throwing the water because it don't. And you have to throw it over your head. Let the ice on top settle. of your head. Let the ice settle for three to five minutes. <laughs> They don't count because you jump in the ice and then you throw it over your head. It didn't settle. It ain't cold enough to let it sit. I'm and saying, really, like you know, get the full effect. Yeah. So that was that was my thing, and I, I want to extend uh, to our guest Melissa. Um, do you have any? Because you know we do this set it off thing every week. Yeah. So basically, it's like whatever gets on your nerves, something that's annoying, anything that you know you want to set it off about. Yes. <laughs> what annoys me is when a man hits a woman. Okay. That annoys me a lot. See, yes, that's that's a big one. Uh, yeah. For all of y'all, I can't. Well, I could curse, but I'm not going to. For all of y'all. Let's push him. Oh, 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 oh
Yes, I'm out. What's up? All right. Oh, my God. Um, all right. I think that you might want to take a little musical break. Okay. But I'm you okay. know, because things are getting a little hot in here. But um, the phone number, she I'm going to. Like. like she gave you a look just now. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. Anyway, um, the phone number <laughs> to all the listeners is um, 877-760-1422. Um, we will be right back. We're going to open up the phone lines in a minute, but jot the number down if you have anything you want to contribute to the conversation. If you want to you know, set it off on something, you can call in. Again, it's 877-760-1422, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 